Good evening, everyone. Welcome. My name is Brian Woods. I am music director here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. It is my pleasure to welcome you to tonight's concert featuring myself and violinist Daniel Dostor. I would be remiss if I did not first thank Dr. Jeannie and Rex Sinkfeld for their incredible support of this series. We are also grateful to the Regional Arts Commission and the Missouri Arts Council for their support. Do check out the exhibit that is finishing just next month here at the World Chess Hall of Fame. Bobby Fischer, Boris Spassky, 1972, celebrating a pivotal match in chess history. It's going away, so go see it now. I would also encourage you to check out season tickets, which are here for the music series, and please check that out. You are going to get all kinds of discounts, and we are only selling 24 of these for members. So check that out. It's a huge amount of savings. Look in your program. You get all the perks you can get there. I can't go through all of them, but it's a lot. So I would check that out. And uh, be sure to check out worldchesshof.org. That's where you can learn about all of our offerings here at the World Chess Hall of Fame and everything we have coming up, including some of our next concerts, including the Opera Theater of St. Louis season preview next month. Don't miss that. So, it is my pleasure to open tonight's concert. We are opening with um, the violin sonata of Francis Poulenc, a French composer. This piece was written uh, during 1943, during the Nazi occupation of Paris. Um, it's a very violent piece. It was written in honor of a guitarist friend of his who had passed away. So you can hear in the second movement, I'm doing my best guitar impression up here as best I can. And it's full of colors, full of rhapsodic melodies, and full of drama. So please join me in welcoming here on stage violinist Daniel Doster.
Daniel's fetching some rosin for his, for his bow, so I'm going to continue to entertain you. No, I'm kidding. Um, anyone know any good jokes? Um, the next piece in the program is um, a real, uh, it's completely different, as maybe Monty Python would say. Now for something completely different, we're going to have a showpiece from Fritz Kreisler, who is, as people say, the violinist's violinist. This is piece, uh, piece incredible violin uh, technique and pyrotechnics you're going to hear as I sort of bump along, although Daniel would argue otherwise. But um, this piece is the um, Viennese Rhapsodic Pantasiata, and it's uh, in honor of when Chrysler moved here to the States, actually during the same time that the Poulenc was written, um, he was missing his home in Vienna back in Austria. So this is a piece that is very fantastical, very virtuosic, very exciting, but also very reminiscent of um, Austrian waltz that you might hear on New Year's Eve. So please enjoy.
He can play, folks. He can play. Um, thank you all so much for being here. Um, Daniel is a good friend for those um, who were not here for the pre-concert chat. We met at the Royal Conservatory of Music in Toronto during the peak of the 2020 pandemic, and he was the first person that I made music with following the pandemic. So we have a very special, tight relationship as um, collaborators, as, as artistic partners, and um, it's, it's really a special, a special thing for us. So uh, the final piece in the program is something that many classical fans might be a fan of. This is the um, Brahms D minor violin and piano sonata, opus 108. This is a um, staple of the romantic piano and violin repertoire. Um, you'll notice it is a sonata for piano and violin, not violin and piano. Brahms wrote it specifically that way. Um, my part is rather meaty. So there's a lot going on in this piece. Um, the first movement, it has this incredibly beautiful violin opening over a very ghostly, pale piano um, underpinning. And then the second movement I, we were saying in the pre-concert chat is, is the most intimate expression of love for someone, whether that be a romantic partner or a family member or something, it's very special. And the third movement is very whimsical, fantastical, uh, you know, full of, full of twists and turns and sparkle. And the final movement is a tour de force for both of us. So uh, you have that to look forward to. So please enjoy Brahms Sonata Number no. 3.